design on the 1870, when adjusted correctly, provides more even emergence and uniform crop maturity compared to other opener designs. After watching this video, you will be able to explain how the opener operates, compare the changes, enhancements that have been made to the opener from previous models, and adjust seed boot depth and trip force. The 1870 has two seed boot options. Growers can opt for either a paired row option or a single row sideband option. The paired row option allows for 9 inch, 3 inch planting on 12 inch shank spacing. Seed is banded in two rows above and to the side of the furrow. Placing fertilizer at a 1 inch depth allows seed placement on a 3 quarter inch shelf on either side of the fertilizer. The single side band option allows the seed to be placed on a firm shelf above the fertilizer. This option has a 12 inch row spacing with up to four and a half inches of separation between fertilizer and seed and up to six inches depth of fertilizer placement. John Deere has a solution for growers with regards to their seeding preferences based on the operation, soil, and seed type. Always remember that the faster and deeper you seed, the more soil will be thrown away from the furrow. It's also important to remember that the paired row opener will cause more soil disturbance than the single sideband option running at the same speed. The seed tube can be adjusted in one quarter inch increments by releasing the seed tube cam. This cam can greatly reduce the time and effort it takes to make seed tube adjustments. Fertilizer depth is set across the tool by the frame and can be adjusted hydraulically in the cab. Setting and maintaining the correct seed boot depth is essential for proper seed placement in the trench. For example, if you're running in loose soils, the seed boot can most likely be shallowed up since more soil will fall back into the trench at closing. Again, knowing the soil type across your field is key to proper fertilizer and seed placement. The seed boot trip pressure is done with a manually adjusted spring, whereas the fertilizer shank is adjusted hydraulically from the cab using TrueSet. Please see the Adjusting TrueSet video in this series for more information on the available adjustments in TrueSet. The wheel scrapers on the closing wheels were also relocated on the 1870. Now the scraper placement is on top of the closing wheel. This change in location will improve residue flow through the closing wheel. With a little time, you can easily adjust the 1870 air hole drill to match your specific soil conditions and crop type to help ensure that your crop gets off to the best start possible. Now you are able to explain how the opener operates. Compare the changes enhancements that have been made to the opener from the previous models and adjust seed boot depth and trip force.